What is up you guys, Austin Newman here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're talking all about the glitch effect and how you can achieve this effect without any additional layovers or third party plugins of any kind. It's a super simple effect that you can do right here and if you're not subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and subscribe for filmmaking and editing tutorials and let's go ahead and dive in. So I've got my two fresh clips laid out on the timeline. One is a video file and one is a text file. Both of them have different methods on how you can glitch. So I'm going to show you both ways to do it. We'll start with the video file first. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. What I want to do is select this video file, hold down alt and drag it up to duplicate it. And on the top layer, we're going to open the effect controls. We're going to set a keyframe on both position and scale on the first frame. Let's move over one frame, set another keyframe on both of those, but let's move the position down. And on the next one, let's move the position back up and then also the scale up. We'll make it go down here this time. Move, go over one more time. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe here. I'm going to move it to the left this time. Let's go over one more keyframe. Let's go even further this time. Go a keyframe over. Let's set our scale again and maybe uh, move this back up and to the right. And then let's go back and set our scale to 100 and we're going to return these settings back to normal. And this is what you get so far. Now I do want to mention that I did try and clip out different sections of this and it just did not work as well when I clipped it out and moved the position around on each of those rather than just keyframing because you get a little bit of a slight movement every time it jumps and you're going to want that because it looks a lot better than the other way. Now, what we want to do next is also show you how you can kind of get that color effect in some of these. So let me just go ahead and scoot this down. Now, what I want to do for this one is I'm going to go ahead and chop it right in half. That way we can get both of these effects. All right, for this first one here, let's go over to our effects and let's grab RGB color balance. And if you've been following my tutorials, you know I love this. Let's go ahead and turn down red all the way to zero and blue all the way to zero. And that'll give us the green. And then let's go over here to our second clip, drag color balance on that one as well. Turn down green and turn down blue and you get some of that. So that's actually as simple as glitching a video file is. You're going to want to play around with it. You'll zoom in, you'll scale it up, you'll reposition it. There's a lot of things you can do differently as you saw in my example, but this is basically to get started with that. Now let's go ahead and glitch the text file because this is actually a different technique that you're going to use rather than just kind of moving position around. So let's go ahead and duplicate this bottom layer by holding alt and dragging up. Now we're going to be glitching this top layer here and the bottom will just be our normal layer that we can kind of go back to every now and then. So let's go ahead and go over to our effects panel with the top layer selected and type in wave warp drag wave warp onto your top layer. Let's go down to our wave type and change that to square. The wave height, I like to go about 50. Wave width, I like to do about 100. For direction, you can do 90 to get a vertical look or you can do zero to get a horizontal look. For wave speed, I usually like negative 10. I found that's a pretty good speed to be at and everything else is usually good. So what we want to do is we will go through here and just go a couple of frames because you really don't want it to last too long and then kind of move on. And then we're going to go over here to the next one. Let's go ahead and go a couple frames and let's go a couple more frames, maybe about three frames, bring this one up just so we can separate and we know. What we're gonna do with this top one is we're gonna change that direction, like I said, to 90 so it goes vertically. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to this bottom layer and take out any time that a glitch is happening, that way you're not doubling up on that effect. Maybe right here. And let's see how that looks. Something else you can do, and what I like to do on here though, is I would like to throw in a random scale. So I'll go over here to this one right here, and let's maybe just go down a little bit. And that kind of adds a little bit of extra effect to it. And you're just going to want to vary a little bit. You can also do an RGB on this if you wanted to. If you wanted to go to RGB and grab a color balance, and you want to change this one right here to just red, you can also do that. It's no problem. Go over here to this one, RGB color balance, and maybe throw a green on it. And that's how you do this inside Adobe Premiere. Now what you can also do, let's say we had an audio file. So I have the glitch audio file here. I've already linked it in the description below. So if you wanna try this same file out, you can also kind of practice with it. So first we're gonna to wanna to bring this down because this is a very loud file. So let's go ahead and bring it down to negative 21. So I go through a couple and cut right there. 
normal and then I cut and that's it. And that's how you match that up to your text files. So that's how you do the glitch effect inside Adobe Premiere without any layovers or any plugins. And I hope this video has been helpful. Give me a like on this video if you did like it or learned something. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>